GRE Marine are well known amongst water sports fans for the massive range of Malibu boats they sell and display from their Sydney dealership. They also run one of the tidiest and most efficient workshops anywhere in the Greater Sydney area. If you're after more of a fishing and family slant, they now stock the iconic range of Australian-made North Bank boats. We're here to jump aboard the 750 hardtop, head out off Sydney Harbour and see how it performs. While everyone is interested in how it handles, there is a whole lot of boat here to have a look at. So let's do a quick overview of what you're actually buying. One of the key selling points of a boat like this is this large enclosed cabin. You're fully surrounded by large glass windows. The side ones slide open. There's a small hatch in the roof and you'll notice this one is lined as well, which gives it a little bit more of an upmarket feel. The cabin is a full width cabin, which means you can't walk up the side of the boat but you can access the anchor easily through the front hatch. It allows the boat to have a full width cabin, which gives you more room overall. Down the front, you've got a nice little area where you can have a lie down. If you want, you can option it up with the infill in the center, or you can just run the benches either side. There is also storage underneath and a very neat double shelf arrangement running up either side there. Again, that's carpeted inside, which makes it a little bit more comfortable too. Being a keen fisherman myself, the business end of this boat is where it's at for me, and there is a massive amount of room here. It almost has to be seen to be believed. You could easily fish three to four people either side and not get tangled together. You've got four rod holders, which come standard, You've got these great little inset grab rails, which is a good addition, because as you know, when you're out there, it can get very rough and it provides a great point to anchor yourself with. And also the gunnel height. It is very, very high, almost up to my hip. So there's no chance of me falling over. If I'm fishing, it's very easy to brace against. And in all serious fishing boats, you can also get your toes underneath the shelf that runs up the side. So you can have a nice, comfortable fishing position. It's an important thing to consider when you're buying any boat like this. Across the back here, we've got an optional bait board with a bit of storage underneath. If it was mine, I'd like to have one with a bit of a recess where I could put extra bits and pieces and you could certainly option up to that yourself, no problem at all. On this side, the live bait tank is massive and you'd have no trouble fitting a fair few baits in that. And on this particular model, we've got the optional side door here. This gives you a little bit more versatility if you're looking to grab a large fish and bring it aboard. There's also a large rocket launcher above the cockpit itself, which handles another six fishing rods. So all up, you could have 10 rods on here straight off the bat. We've launched out of Five Dock Bay and we're heading down the harbour, past the wedding cakes, towards the heads. As soon as I got on board, I felt really comfortable behind the helm. It's easy to stand and drive or sit and pop your feet up on the footrest immediately ahead of the driver. You've also got a great layout with the dash trim tabs up in the left here, easy to reach. A nice large screen here, which is a chart plotter and a sounder unit. And you've got your digital readout up high for your engine. Down the side, there's a switch panel which controls the windscreen wipers, bilge pumps, bait tank pump, etc. And we've got a radio here. The throttle is easy to grab from any position at all. And I'm pretty comfortable cruising along inside the harbour here. It has been blowing 20 knots out there from the southeast. And while it's nice and calm in here, I'm expecting that to be a little bit rough. through the heads and it's starting to get a little bit rough. You can see the wind pushing. I'm gonna turn my windscreen wiper on so I can see out my window. And it's a fine line when you're testing boats. Obviously the footage looks great when it's nice and calm, but you really wanna know how a boat's gonna perform. The bow slices through the waves. It doesn't seem to get pushed all over the place. There's certainly no lurching that you would feel with some other models. 
and it really takes it all within its stride. As we speed up and get up to about 14 knots, in these conditions I probably wouldn't do it in a lot of boats. This boat doesn't ever seem to put a foot wrong. It handles the conditions, it keeps the spray relatively away from the screen most of the time, and it doesn't bang or bounce around at all. And the best thing is, you're never gonna get wet. Power is supplied by a Honda BF250 engine. It's derived from the same engine line used in the Honda Odyssey. While you could fit twin 200 horsepowers on the back of this boat, the single pushes it to a top speed of 37 knots. It cruises comfortably at 17 and it chews up and spits out the chop as it goes. Well, the hull slices through the water effortlessly when you throw it into a turn. It beds over very nicely, which means that the occupants aren't fighting G-forces as you go around a corner. It makes the overall ride much more comfortable for the entire duration you're aboard. One important thing to consider when you're looking at a boat that is seven and a half metres long is the tow vehicle you choose to tow it with. This boat on trailer will weigh over three tonnes and that puts it in the category of a large four-wheel drive such as the Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series. While the North Bank boat brand isn't that well known on the East Coast, they certainly have made a splash in their home state of South Australia. I expect to see more and more of these on the water in and around Sydney particularly. They are the perfect vessel for anyone who's a mad keen fisherman or wants a little bit of comfort but still be able to tow their boat to different destinations. The guys at GRE Marine can help spec up your boat how you see fit, so it's got a little bit more luxury for the family, or you can add some outriggers and hit the open seas.